Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout Nevada. I'm still trying to detect this thing here underground. The metal detector is keeping, uh, is beeping like crazy, but I can't find anything. Oh, well, I guess we're not getting this one because, well, it just don't work. Nope. Anyway, we've just snitched on uh, this guy, the, uh, the owner of this casino. Which most likely means that because we went to the police and the police is most likely paid off by these guys that we're now a mortal enemy of that guy and they'll be coming after us to shoot us. So, let's also talk to the prisoner. I was framed! Remind me where to find your friend Oris. Usually gonna move into the Hard Rock Cafe. Okay. Okay. So let's go to Hard Rock Cafe. Don't really like helping these guys though, because they seem. Oh, oh, wait, there was something there. They seem criminal. What was it? There we go. Give me something good. We should probably. Oh, nice. We should probably also go and help. The, uh, caravan. The caravan! Unfortunately... Oh, yeah, there's this thing that we just cannot find either. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we're quite heavy at the moment. 193. It would be nice. Do we have a personal storage here? I don't think we have personal storage in Vegas, do we? Um, I'm trying to think. Which never ends well, but... Hmm. Uh, okay, fine. Let's go to... Let, let's go to the gas station and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's going to be more than that to pick up, though. Oh, hello there. Desperate redneck. Money, no! Oh, holy moly. It's actually, um... Yeah. Going to kill us now. 32. Well, he's blind. Whew. I'm not taking a stim pack. And now we die. Whew. Holy moly. There's your money. Sorry, desperate redneck. We could have talked to... Whoa. whoa. It's actually really good stuff. Oh, I, I thought it was a special um, encounter because of that little circle around the, the thing. To the one who kills me, I entered the path of robbery because the clean city annexed my land. The harvest is taken by bastards from Vegas. I have nothing to feed myself with. I can't take it anymore. Man, I feel bad for killing him now. I would have I would have given, given him money if I could. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, what? I could still take everything. Yeah, I, I would have given them money. See, I know this is kind of unre unrelated. I thought we were overloaded. Oh yeah, because we loaded this now. Huh. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna lose the switchblade. Um, I know this is kind of unrelated, but. This is one of the reasons why I really, really, really like pen and paper, like Dungeons and Dragons and so on, role-playing games, because stuff like this, no, um, you know, you could always say, oh, we want to talk to this guy instead of just killing him, and then you feel better about it. Okay, we're going to use the metal detector. Unfortunately, now we're completely full. Which kind of sucks. Hopefully these guys will have... This one was shot. Looks like he was trying to run away. The hell is it here? What? What is it now? Hopefully just money, because I can't take... Oh, man, I can't take anything else. I'm full. <sighs> Let's get rid of the heavy stuff that doesn't 
really cost that much, I suppose. These batons, I don't think, are very expensive. Wait, why is this still considered... There we go, now we can loot them, okay. Now there should be a shovel here, so we can uh, bury these guys. Oh, wow. Darn it. Wow. Holy moly, we're, we're gonna have to come back here. No, uh... No mines or anything? <clears throat> this one's skull is fractured. These raiders must have been very tough guys. Speedhawk Caravaneer. Uh, Caravaneer. Sadly, he's dead too. Oh, caramel. This guy, uh, we're definitely on edge. This one must have been beaten. Wait a minute. What is this? Looks like a locket. Maybe it fell off one of the raiders. That's not a locket. That's, um, um, what are they called? Um, oh, I can't remember the word. This token is engraved with personal information about its owner. Name, date uh, of birth, serial number, and other exact data. Yeah, but what? It doesn't say what. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Soldiers usually have them. I think they've got, like, blood type on there and, you know, name and surname and stuff like that. Just in case something pretty horrible happens to them. Uh, you can st still identify them. And usually in movies you see, you see uh, you know, soldiers collecting those and, like, I will take your stuff back to your family and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't know why for some reason I cannot remember what those things are called. Seriously? Come on. Alright, so how do we do this? How do we actually bury these poor people? Do we use it on them? Yes, perfect. Oh, nice! And you, you actually sort of make a grave. That's really cool. I like that. No? I'm assuming when we're done... Oh, just putting everything, everyone into the same grave. I'm assuming when we're done, uh, we're gonna get some visitors, maybe? Which is bad because we're, uh, we're not very healthy. Gas pump. Grave. Okay. I think that's all of them, right? I can't take the stuff. Unless I was to get rid uh, to get rid of something else. I mean, I can get. Oh, you notice a lot of footprints by the exit. Perhaps the raider mob gathered here to share their loot. The footprints lead west. Follow them. Interesting, but uh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be these guys. Huh. <clears throat> Have you met someone from the Speedhawk Caravan? Yeah, there's one here. But I don't think you'll find him useful. The guy's tragedy is that his caravan was ambushed by raiders. He's the only one uh, that survived. I still need to talk to him. Tell me where I can find him. Do you know anything about that attack? Just what I heard from the survivor. The raiders attacked at night, shooting everyone. He managed to escape. What kind of raiders were they? He couldn't say. That's it. Still need to talk to him. I don't know where exactly he is now, but surely it's somewhere around the station. Just ask around. Okay, that was quite lucky that the first guy we talked to had something to say about it. What do you need? Don't you see I'm busy? No, what? Didn't want to get out. I wanted to go into this tent. I don't think there's anything in there, no. And we can hopefully sell here. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'll let you know when I figure that out. I used to do small runs in the ruins for locals, but lately no one wants to deal with me. It's like they think I'm dangerous. I've got no way to support myself. I don't know what to do. That's too bad. Hey, if you know of anyone that's hiring, can you pass my name along? I'm good with my hands and I'm not picky. All right, see ya. Hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's go and sell stuff first if we can. That'd be great. 
Uh, about repair. No. Alright, uh, one particular thing. Trade. Well, he's got this. That's useful. So we're gonna sell this. And maybe the pump shotgun. Hmm. I don't know if I should keep that on me. Hmm. I'm gonna keep these things for now. They don't weigh anything. Hunting rifle. And that. And you know what? I'm gonna sell the whiskey as well. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. A cattle pro. I'm gonna sell that thing. And that. And that. And that. I got a lot of stuff. An extra lighter. No wonder we're overloaded. Jeez. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have enough. Oh, there's a welding machine and electronics. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess we can have some of these. Man, that's expensive. Um, okay. I guess that's all right. Um, no, I'm going to do it another way. How much is this? There. I have nine. What? Oh, he doesn't have that much. That's fine, then. That's practically enough. Okay. So now we can also maybe get some medical stuff here. There's a first aid thingy, and that, which is quite expensive. He's got a lot of money, actually. That's nice. Unfortunately, we don't have that much here anymore. We got this plasma pistol. I think I already have one stored in Vague, uh, in Reno, I believe. I'm going to sell this one. Uh, I think that's going to be it. Yeah. All right, so 2,105. Mm, does he have anything else? There's a super stim pack. How much is that? It's 800. Pretty nice, though. Disinfection. All right, let's uh, offer that. Okay, no. Let's put some of these things back here. I'm going to use this for state. You see our personal safe. Okay, we're going to put this, this thing in here. And what else? Nothing else, really. I mean, I can keep this here. And these things. Because they're heavy. And the beer, because one of these guys wants like 30 beer. Here. Uh, I want to take everything else to Vegas. Uh, sorry, not Vegas, Reno. I'm in dire straits. Is that the one? Caravaner Bibbit. It's probably him then. Let's go talk to him. And of course, save. You see a worried caravaner. Uh. Hello, Wanderer. I guess you could come to uh, you came to me for a reason, but believe me, I'm not in the mood to help anybody. What do you mean? Looks like quite the situation. Shit happens, I guess. Then tell me what kind of help you need. Help? Me? Uh, not that I'm a wimp or piss pants, but it's a difficult situation, you see, and in, in this case, I do need a little support, so to speak. What kind of support? 200 bucks, that's it. Uh, why do you need the money for I need to get to Vegas very badly, but caravaneers don't help for free. They ask for a prepayment. Here, it's every man for himself. That's how it is. You're a caravaneer, right? So what's stopping you from reaching Vegas? By myself? Oh, no, I'm not that stupid. My fellows are lost and other caravans refuse to pick me up without prepayment because I'm a stranger to everyone else. How much do you need? Uh... Alright, well, here's your 200 bucks. Seriously? You just give me 200? 
You're the nicest fellow I've ever met in the wasteland. No kidding. Now, are you going to tell me what happened to your caravan? Well, why not? But it's a long story. Go on. So, we were transporting goods from Reno to Vegas, and as always, we stopped at Wind War to refill our water supply and get some sleep. What, too scared to sleep in the wasteland? We're not, but why should we hand our asses over to the mutants just like that? Okay, pretty reasonable. What's next? We spend the night at the train station. By morning, we were ready to leave, but suddenly a soldier comes up to us and starts asking us where we're going and what we're transporting. And you should keep your mouth shut with these military. Why are these soldiers so insolent? Ask them. They probably think they're in charge here and run the show. Did you see that guy with a broken face in the next room? Uh, here's how it is. Uh, does the story lead to something or not? Of course, I told you it's going to be a long story. Uh, so these soldiers, let's get back to your cabin. <clears throat> right, so this guy comes to us, starts to get on our nerves with the, his questions, all that important. Ugh. And he was also drunk. We barely managed to fend him off. It's good that we didn't get into a fist fight. Things could be, uh, become worse right there. You, you were lucky. Then we moved on to Vegas, taking the route along the highway, but then our leader said that that's where the raiders usually uh, set up ambushes. Let's go through the desert, he said, off-road. Yeah, I've seen such leaders, any sign of danger, and hmm, safer but slower. We told them that to change the route meant losing a day, so we got to the gas station in the evening, by dusk. Gas station? An old gas station. We always make a stop there on the way from Winter War to Vegas, a convenient checkpoint. It's always nice to sleep under the roof than in the tent in the middle of the desert. Uh, of course. So, we went to sleep when suddenly I hear, someone's coming. And who was that? While the others were asleep, I got up, went outside and suddenly got right in the face. Bam! A shit of a fucking put. And I'm falling on the floor. All the guys jumped up, grabbed their guns. Well, I thought, here comes the fun part. A shootout? These bastards got us surrounded from every side. Two of ours got shot right away, others started running away. Good thing I made it into the bo- uh, As I said, I, I know a lot of tricks, so I disappeared in the most appropriate time. What happened next? I don't know. Darkness, shots, bustle. The raiders at the gas station were still kicking the shit out of someone when I left. That's it? Then I made it back here. But I didn't believe there were raiders one bit. They didn't uh, talk like that, you know? And they're not as well organized, and they're not as smart. It's too strange. So that's what happened. So I was left with nothing and lost contact with my fellows. Hopefully a trip to Vegas will give me a second chance. Hmm, quite a story. Well, happy trails. Thank you for listening. If you ever need me, you can find me in Vegas. <clears throat> By the way, what was that caravan you worked for? Speedhawk, a pretty small team. I know them. <clears throat> Four of your friends have recently been parked in Vegas. Great news! I'll go tell him as soon as possible. Thank you, Wanderer. I'm so glad I've met you. 500 XP. Nice. So long. You found the last remaining member of Speedhawk. So these guys are just regular raiders, then. Hmm. Don't like that. Let's get healed up. Caravaneer Bibbit. For some reason, I'm thinking Ribbit. Nibbit. Okay. Hit points. Get those hit points up. Mm -mm. And hopefully soon we can get our energy weapons up real high so we can start using that plasma pistol up close. The uh, the hunting rifle is going to be nice for aim shots from a little further away. And then the, uh, the plasma pistol for up close aim shots. And that's going to really hurt. Uh, yeah, we are 300 XP away. Well, 299 if we want to be pedantic. Uh, which is gonna put our energy weapons up to about almost 70. It's not too bad, to be honest. Uh, let's go talk to these guys. They're gonna deny everything, of course. Have we found anything with this detector here? Clung, clung. What is it? It's an empty flask. Anything on the other side? Might be. Nothing. 
And let's check here. They're gonna deny it, and even if they don't, they will, uh, yeah, they'll want us dead, so we'll see how that goes. Ain't gonna go well, but hey, we helped them, so, uh, we'll see. Maybe that wasn't a, uh, authorized mission from these guys. Nothing here. So, I don't know, we'll see. Let's talk to him. Did I save? Let's save again. Report! I have a complaint about your subordinates. You are not an exception. You know that some of your subordinates attacked one of the Vegas caravans? I have heard the rumors. I wonder who's spreading this information and why. Misinformation? So you straight out deny the possibility. I happened to have a chance to visit the site of the attack and found a personal attack of one of your soldiers. What do you say to that? I should have known. My men are not the same as before. What does it mean? I thought when the war is known as a defender of the offend offended and helpless. <laughs> it's like, I'm offended. It is, but to keep order in your region is hard work. And sometimes the guys need to let off some steam. Apparently they smelled easy money and succumbed to temptation. It's not the first time, right? Does it mean that your men are gradually turning into raiders? I have to admit that this is partly true. I have to restrain them, put worthy ideas in their heads, give them something to look up to. But the level of motivation and discipline keeps dropping. This problem did not occur just yesterday. Right, so what about the stolen goods? Let me see what I can do about that. I'll wait. The boys cracked and showed me the stash. Here, that's all they had in it. 1500 and some sort of technical device. Well, at least it's something. What are you going to do with these creeps? Those who committed the robbery will have to answer. Doing hard labor. That will be a good lesson for the others. Okay, well it's a good... Uh, that at least criminals will be punished. Hmm. Well, that's okay, but... Hmm. Oh, come on, it's... However, looking in... Uh, be me up in a second, blah, blah, blah. I need to discuss an important question. Never mind. I'm going, sir. Okay. So, I don't know. He's at least sort of trying to keep the peace, I guess. And order. Hey, look what I can do! Look! You want to talk to you. One! Okay, there's nothing here with a metal detector. And there's a, a power distribution point there. So, let's talk to this guy, see if we can give him the money. So he said, some sort of technical device, filter. This is a powerful filter for purifying groundwater using some kind of specialized equipment. Interesting. Huh. What do I do with that? Okay, this guy doesn't talk to us anymore. Interesting. What do we do with that thing? We should go maybe back to Vegas? Hmm. Go back to Vegas and see what we can do with that filter. Unfortunately, it's 20 pounds, which is quite heavy, but um, hmm. now if I can remember who actually gave us the position of that gas station, I think it was here, right? Hello, friend. We were just talking about you. I found a survivor. Sadly, only one. And the others died? I knew it. Thank you for finding Bibbit. We'll wait for him here. He'll surely come with some caravan from the Winter War. You're welcome. Sorry, we have nothing to pay you. We're broke after the raid. Then why did I do all that? Forget it. Uh, friend, I'll manage without rewards. But, but wait! Puts out something shiny. I don't know, perhaps you'll need it, because I don't. Lighter? Useful, thanks. Why is everyone giving out lighters? Uh, your problem is solved. Turns out the attack was done by the Wind of War soldiers. So that's how it is. We knew it. They worked too professionally. But how did you manage to find out? What about our merchandise? The goods are still at the gas station. You can go take it, but most valuables are, are long gone. Damn, I knew it. Hopeless. Not quite. During my investigation, I managed to find the ones that did the attack. 
Opens his eyes in surprise. I see. I respect you there since you're still alive. What did you manage to find out? Tell the details. Nice. 2500. Nice. Ah, it won't bring our guys back. What about the stolen goods? I managed to get the money and the filter. 1500. Amazing. I was getting desperate, but thanks to you, we now have the money to uh, rest and gather our strength. Now about the other problem. Filter. That's the most important thing we carried. Salt Lake City is waiting for it, like the second coming of Jesus. It is needed to start the artesian water pump and uh, supply people with clean water. I don't know how we'll able to take this thing to the city in our current state. I can do it. Who must I give the filter to? Ah, uh, you're right. We won't be able to take it there. Not just because of our condition. You see how the other is looking at us? I'm sure some of them already know what we're talking about. We won't make it out of the city, but you have the chance. Take it. We wanted to sell it to the Nuka-Cola factory, but you certainly will judge better to whom it is more necessary. Holy moly English. You're right. I'll have to go. Good luck to you. Wait! The journey to Salt Lake City is long. Here, take this. It was made specifically for the desert conditions. Take it. Take it. I insist. Take it! Take it! What is it? Oh. Caravan merchant suit. Special clothing, uh, which maximizes mobility of movement in conditions of desert. <laughs> okay. But if you're in conditions of forest... Uh, you crawl down. Uh, you, you slow down to a crawl. Protective goggles and dust mask are included. Yeah. Not very good. But, meh, I can sell it. And we leveled up. Ah! Oh, here we go. Action boy. Uh, spend every combat turn. You can use these generic and uh, it gives you an additional... Oh, yeah. It doesn't give you two additional action points. Like I said, I think, two parts ago. It gives you one additional action point. <laughs> Uh, ammo maker, better criticals, bonus move, bonus range damage, blah, 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 fortune finder. Uh, with the action boy, by the way, we could shoot twice per round if we don't do aimed shots, which, you know, again, agility, oh, these are very good. Healer, uh, hints, I'll give her more criticals, more! Mr. Fix it. Mutate mysterious stranger. Ah, sharpshooter. Um, this one is quite okay. For each level of this perk, you get plus two bonus to perception. But if we're talking about this, it's much better to just get the gain perception because you know that also. This is just for the bon uh, purposes of determining range modifiers. If you get an actual plus one to perception, it gives you all the other stuff um, with perception. Being higher, smooth talker, snake eater, speaker, blah, 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 blah. Weapon handling, you know, let's do it with the person's strength checks. Okay, so it's gonna be either. Could it be also gain intelligence? Gain intelligence? Or gain perception? Uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna get another action point by getting one more agility. I think it would need to be agility 10. For that, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I am going to save first because I cannot quite remember. Let's see. Let me just see. Gain agility. Boop. Yeah, you don't get. Uh... Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can cancel out of that, and it still cancels the perk thing. Excellent. So I think gaining perception would be pretty nice, because gaining perception... Uh, you know, th that modifies your sequence, ranged combat distance modifiers, a um, couple other things as well. Hmm. Or do I want more intelligence? Because that will give us more skill points per level. Hmm, 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 hmm. Action Boy is very nice, though. Of course, you don't get more skill points right now, because we've already leveled up. But... Heroic. Heroic NT? What? Uh, Action Boy is very, very nice, but... Oh, I just can't decide. I just kind of decide. You know what? I'm going to gain intelligence, probably. For now. And just dump everything into energy weapons. 
Um, I mean, we're going to be at 67%, which is, eh, it's not too shabby, but no, it's not going to do things yet. So, I'm going to click again, probably. This NT, that's very weird. Um... Yeah, done. Okay, well, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I do. And a uh, big thank you to my patrons, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.